so here we're, uh, we have a left parotid mass in a 47 year old male and MRI was done. I'll show that in a, a clip here. And so let me just show what the gross is. Let's see here. So there's two fragments um, and kind of irregular, lobulated, gray, tan. That one they think might be a lymph node, I think, uh, what the MRI report says. And this is the other one. So. All right, so back up. Received the formal and labeled the patient's name and social security number and designated left parotid mass are uh, two irregular fragments of um, tan uh, brown soft tissue. The uh, smaller fragment measures 2.8 by 2.5 by 2.3 centimeters, and the larger fragment measures. 5.5 by 3.5 by 2.8 centimeters. Here, since there's no orientating uh, sutures on these uh, specimens, we're going to go ahead and just uh, ink the whole uh, the whole thing one color, just in case the tumor extends to the inked margin. So. So this larger one, we inked black, and the smaller one, we're going to go ahead and differentiate, uh, differentially ink it blue. Um, we'll set them in different cassettes, however, just to be able to uh, make sure we differentiate it microscopically. Now we're dabbing it with the uh, ink fixation solution, so that way the ink doesn't wash off during processing. So now we're sectioning. The MRI, I forgot to mention, the MRI did mention that this was uh, a, uh, actually we did an FNA. We did an right. FNA on this, which showed uh, favor pleomorphic adenoma. And I believe the MRI mentioned that the size was approximately 1.6 by 1.4. They didn't get a third dimension just because the patient was claustrophobic and started freaking out. Okay. Mass. So the mass now starts to disappear. And... So, look for the mass. That pink, kind of the. Uh, that might be this. Um, it might be this yellow homogenate. I mean, I think that's just unfixed. Um, oh, unfixed portion of the portion. tissue. Okay. I don't see a good mass to be quite honest. Maybe it's this other one here. It could be. Yeah, Should that be. might. <laughs> Either. I mean, unless it's this, because this does look a little different. Because I think the MRI, I'll show the MRI, but, uh, or maybe I'll talk about it before this, showed that it was in the anterior su superficial portion, so. Oh, there's a mass there. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, so it was, it wasn't necessarily intra parotid, maybe it was on just on the okay. outside of it. Yeah. Here you can see a dense, kind of a tan to white, homogenous cut surface. Looks pretty well okay. circumscribed, although microscopically we'll be able to see if there's any invasion. Sectioning the uh, two fragments reveals uh, normal uh, salivary gland tissue throughout the larger fragment. The uh, smaller fragment has a uh, solid 
uh, tan white, uh, well circumscribed, um, well demarcated uh, mass measuring uh, 1.8 by 1.5. that third dimension here. By 2.0 centimeters. So. That's the lesion right there. Hello. We'll put in, it's a fairly small mass, let's put in just about all of it. trimming it there just so we can get a nice thin section for proper fixation and processing. So yeah, we'll put the whole lesion in and just representative of the, uh, the larger fragment. Yes, and that's how grossing is done. I guess I'll get you putting in some sections of that remarkable appearing tissue. That's interesting that uh, that it is all confined to the small lobe. The, yeah that smaller lobe but then also the inner portion of this larger didn't quite fix. Yeah. Did we get some of this yellow stuff see if that's something besides salivary gland. Yeah. I suppose the only thing to get the only other thing we could have done to get that center portion fixed is cut into so it. I but said yesterday. However, um, if it was the lesion, then we would have had to process it more. At the same time, I think we may have gotten it late yesterday. If but, you see anything suspicious in this stuff here, we can go back and submit more of it. Yeah, we'll keep this. Later. So the representative sections are submitted as follows. A1 through A7, entire um, nodule serially sectioned. And A8 through A10, representative sections of a uh, larger uh, unremarkable portion of salivary gland. Sure. Now we're closing up these cassettes. And we're gonna place them in this tray which has formalin. Yeah. Okay. And then later this afternoon they'll put it in one of these uh, one of these tissue processors.